What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to draw a thing from Wednesday. Let's begin today's lesson on the right side of our page with the bottom edge of the thumb. So we start right up here. So we curl this down and then out towards the bottom. And I just want to curl this around, going around. I just want to bend this in on the bottom edge of the thumbnail. Now let's go back to the outside. I'm going to curl the top of the thumb coming in, up. I just want to bend this in towards the wrist. Let's go back to this line. I'm just going to curl around the thumbnail. Coming around, up, and then down. And now we're going to work our way over towards the left side with the fingers. From the top of the thumb, let's step up. I'm just going to curl this down, and then out towards the first finger. Let's create an overlap. We're going to step up, straight down, round out the bottom of the finger. Now similar to how we did with the thumb, I'm just going to curl this around, go up along the bottom edge of the fingernail. Let's go to the outside, curl the fingernail going up and then down on the inside. Now on the outside of the fingernail, we're going to draw the knuckle. We're going to go up, round this out, and then bend that in. Now let's step back and add a curve, coming in and up. Now we're going to leave a gap on the left side and draw that again. So we're going to step over, curve down, round up the bottom of the finger, and go out, and just pull that in along the fingernail. Let's tuck the finger in behind, and then we'll go back and draw that same fingernail. We're going to go up, and then bend that down. Now on the left side, curve the knuckle going up. I just want to bend that in, step back, and add a fold. Now I want to tuck the third finger in behind. So we start from the tip, curve around, up, and then we'll bend that in. Let's add the nail, going up and then down. And then from the outside, curve the knuckle, going up, and we'll bend that down on the inside. Step back, curve this in and up. Now the fourth finger is going to get tucked in behind. Starting up here, curve this around. Now I'm just going to pull that in towards the side of the finger. Step back and draw the nail, going up and then down. Let's go back to the outside, curve the knuckle, going up. And we'll just bend that down on the inside. Now you want to step back and curve the top of the hand, coming in and we'll pull that up towards the top. Let's go back to the top of the thumb, curve the wrist coming in, and then up towards the same height. Now let's round up the edge of the wrist, curve around, and then in towards the top. And we'll close off the top with a curve, going up, and then we'll bend that down. Let's add a fold along the bottom, leaving a gap on the side. We're going to go up and then down. Let's add those stitches along the top of the wrist. Start from the top left, curl this around and then in towards that line. Step in, draw another curve. Now in the middle, we'll come straight down. And then going to the right, we're just going to bend this out towards the right and then in. And we'll add one more. Now I want to add that stitch line going around the top of the first finger. So we're going to start up here on the knuckle, go up, and we'll bend that down in between the thumb, and we'll add those stitch lines going around that line. Let's add another stitch going across the wrist, coming in and then down, and we'll add those stitches going across. Now in between the second and third finger, we curl this up and then out. And we'll add those stitches. Now I'm going to add a scar across the top of the third finger. Bend this in and down. And then taper that back out. Let's add another scar inside the thumb. 
and it'll finish off by sounding an art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw a thing from Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.